Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Ancesthetics, where hopefully I can bring you a little bit of peace and happiness today. Today, I'm showing you this super cool, trippy mushroom, black rainbow vibe painting. First step I'm doing is I'm just taking a black paint and I am painting around the edges, leaving the center kind of open and it does not have to be perfect because obviously you're going to fill it with some colors. If you wanted to see what colors I was using, just take a pause. I will let you know this first color I'm using is Diva Pink. The second is Purple Pansy. This is like an aqua teal green color, and then I used like a lime green, a uh, pale daffodil, and outrageous orange with some apple red. And right here is where I'm taking an acrylic marker. This is supposed to be red, but it kind of looks orange at some points, but it is red. And I'm just drawing one squiggly line on each corner of the canvas. After the red, I'm taking a blue acrylic marker and I am doing another squiggly line, but I'm making sure I'm leaving room for the other colors that we're going to be putting in between. I'll be sure to put up the reference photo so that you guys can see what I'm looking at and how uh, my mind's working right now, okay? You can also find this inspiration photo on my Pinterest. Go to the description box below, click on my Pinterest link or type it into Pinterest. Go under my board, Art and Drawings, and you will find the picture there. Going in with an orange acrylic marker now. And if you looked at the reference photo, you'll notice that these opposite sides are kind of inverted. So the orange is going to be on the inside um, right for this, and then it's going to be on the inside left for this side. The final color that I'm using is green. And if you're wondering why I'm skipping a corner, it's because I also have to film my TikTok promo videos for each painting. So I always tend to leave one thing, like the, the last element will be what's going to get recorded for TikTok. So that is why I am not doing the other corner, but obviously you would do the fourth corner as well, like the inspiration photo, or if you want three corners, do what you want. Taking a black acrylic marker, this is a size medium marker. I am drawing the mushroom stem and then I'm working on the flowers that, well they're not really flowers, but let's say the leaves that will be on each side of the mushroom. And again, this is just a black color. I'm basically just mapping out where everything's going to be a rough sketch. So this part is where I am mapping out the phases of the moon. This was my roughest part of this painting, but I tried my best and as long as you do too, hopefully you'll like the outcome as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe or like button or both if you really want to help your girl out. Thank you. This is the top of the mushroom we're working on and I was getting it super close to that little leaf stem over there but I was able to make it work. And then this is the part where we're kind of figuring out where we're going to do our middle of the mushroom. And so for that I just drew um, basically half a circle across and then just wavy lines on the top. You don't have to be specific with it. And for the leaves on the plant, all you gotta do is just draw two lines that are kind of like an almond shape. That's what I think, and you can differentiate them so they're different shapes, but do whatever you feel. For the moons, I chose to keep it similar to the blue color, but I go end up later on adding to it, so we're gonna stay tuned for that. Going in with a green, a green acrylic marker, my goodness. I'm filling in these leaves. I am using the same color for all of the leaves. You can switch it up and do different colors. 
I just figured I'd do a base color and then work from there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, of course. Now, I use the color Barn Red for this, and I am just kind of taking a small brush and working on filling in the lines like we would a coloring book. After we finish that, I'm taking a light blue to go back and highlight the different phases of the moon. And then I'm also doing the same kind of method for the leaves with a lighter green to kind of make the leaves pop a little. And then we're going to move on to the mushroom where I'm using a bright white to draw kind of some blobs on the mushroom. They're not perfect circles. You could do perfect circles if you want, but I kind of wanted to go for more of a cow print, cow print vibe. The dots are supposed to be little stars, and then I'm actually going in and physically drawing a couple little stars as well. To finish off, I am taking gloss Mod Podge and putting it all over the canvas and then just spreading it out with a flat, wide brush. You can see I always pour too much, so I end up scooping some of it back into the container, but it is what it is. just wanted to take a moment and thank you so much for stopping by today. I really hope you'll consider subscribing, especially if you like trippy paintings, because this account is for you. I'm really trying to make fun, creative um, inspiration videos for beginners who want to paint but don't know where to start. So I really hope this inspires you to start doing something that you've always wanted to do but have been too afraid to take that first step and there you have it i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give your girl a like to help a girl out and i hope you have a wonderful peaceful happy day bye bye